Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my top 10 Minecraft mods for 1.15.2, this time for April of 2020. And yeah, like I said, all of these mods are updated for version 1.15, so unless you've made the switch to 1.16 already, you should be able to use these mods. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, this first mod I'm gonna be showing you today is a really cool one, even though it only has a couple hundred downloads at this point. And this is the Chunk in a Globe mod. This mod adds a special new block to the game, which once you right click will teleport you onto that block and essentially make you a tiny person and you have an entire chunk sized spot to build on. It's a really cool effect that could probably be used in a lot of interesting ways. Next we have the Snow Real Magic mod. And this mod not only adds snow accumulation to your game, but also makes it so blocks like fences, stairs, and walls can actually have snow under them now. And you know, blocks can look kind of ugly when they don't have snow under them for some reason, even though we are in a completely snowy biome, so this fixes a pretty big problem. Or I guess it's not really a big problem, but it at least fixes an annoying one. Next up, we have Swamp Expansion, and this mod aims to make swamps in your world just a little bit better. And it accomplishes this by adding cattails to the game, along with changing out the wood type for the trees, and it makes it so giant mushrooms will also spawn here. Overall, it just makes swamps a bit more interesting. Next up we have the Nether Portal Spread mod. When you have this mod installed, once you activate a Nether Portal, it'll begin spreading the Nether into the overworld. And you can configure the radius in which this effect will take place all the way up to 100 blocks. And you know, this just makes the two dimensions feel a bit more connected, I guess. Realistic Torches is the next mod up, and with this mod installed, torches won't even place activated. You'll have to click them with flint and steel, and even when you do this, they'll only stay on for a set amount of time, which by default is an hour. And this just makes caves a bit more difficult to explore than they were before, and you know, can also help you get lost. Lost. Next we have Shoulder Surfing Reloaded, and I personally love this mod because it makes third person actually playable. With this mod you can essentially move the camera to either side of your character and customize its distance very specifically. Most other games that are in third person do have the view over one shoulder or the other rather than just directly behind your character, and you know personally I just think this looks much better. Next we have the Upgrade Aquatic mod, and this mod essentially serves as a big upgrade to the Aquatic update. It adds things ranging from new plants, fish, blocks, pretty much everything you could expect from a mod like this. The mod's got a lot of content and it fits into vanilla Minecraft pretty well. After that we have the Natural Progression mod. And this mod makes it so you can't just spawn and right away start punching trees. First you have to collect pebbles to start making tools in order to be able to create the tools you normally would have before. And this just makes the beginning of your game last a little bit longer. Approaching the end we have the Midnight mod. And this is pretty much the only big dimension mod that's even been updated to the newest versions of the game so far. And in my opinion, this is one of the best looking dimension mods out there. The entire world in this mod just looks completely mysterious. In fact, I'd say that the only other dimension mod that generally just looks as good as this one is the Betweenlands. Both of these mods look borderline better than the overworld. Finally, the last mod I have for you guys today is Slime Boyos. And this mod makes it so whenever there's a dropped item on the ground and a slime happens to hop over it, it'll actually put that block on top of its head. It's a nice little effect and you know, once again just fits pretty well into the game. Alright, that's the end of this video and if there's any mods you think I should include next time, go ahead and comment those below and I will definitely check them out. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.